What did I miss? Brian here, and today we got another video for the Forerunner. This isn't a mod video, this is more of a maintenance procedure. However, this one's going to be a little bit different because we're not going to be changing the oil or clean the air filter or anything like that. Today, I'm going to seafoam the engine, and this is the seafoam spray, not the one where you pour it into the gas tank. I'm going to hook this up in the air intake, and this is going to go right before the throttle body. And simply, all you have to do is spray it into the engine, it goes to the intake manifold. You can get this anywhere, like at a Walmart or at an auto parts store like AutoZone, Advanced Auto Parts, O'Reilly's, Napa, etc, etc. They're very easy to find and I read on the Forerunner and Tacoma forums and they say they've noticed a big difference after running through some seafoam spray. They said the engines ran a lot smoother, they idle smoother and they gained some MPGs and my engine already runs pretty smooth with all the mods that I have right now. So I'm curious to see if this can of seafoam will make it even smoother. That goes with MPGs as well. I already have like a good 21 miles per gallon. So I'm curious to see if that will increase it even more. Now this process will require two people because you'll need one person to spray the seafoam into the engine and you'll need another person starting up the vehicle, revving it to 2000 RPM and shutting it off. And as I make this video right now, I am waiting for a friend to come through. Guess who it is? <laughs> nice. Everything is connected. I have decided I'm going to spray in through the intake instead of finding a brake booster hose. What's going to happen is Kenny is going to be in the driver's seat. He's going to start up the vehicle and once I start spraying, he's going to hit 2000 RPMs and hold it until the can runs out and I tell him to shut it off. And from there, we're going to let it heat soak for about 10 minutes and then we're going to go out on the road and floor it. You ready, Kenny? By the way, congrats on hitting 200,000 miles on your truck. <sighs> She's old, man. She's old. But hopefully I can make as much content as I can while I still have it. So, uh, yeah, let's get to it. We are at operating temperature. It's almost halfway between hot and cold, but I think it's safe to say we could start spraying now. Thumbs up. <laughs> All right, step on it. Turn it off. All right. There is nothing left in the can. Yeah, safe to say that it's empty. Now that we used up all the can, we're gonna let it heat soak for 10 minutes. Big thanks to Kenny for helping me. Not sure where he's going. So it's been a little over 10 minutes. I think it's been about like 12 or 13. Now we are going to start it up and burn off the rest of the seafoam. Okay, it was a little bit sluggish.
to burn off the rest of the sea foam. Right away I can tell it is a bit smoother. Maybe it is a placebo effect since we just did the sea foam treatment, but so far it does feel smooth. And it was already smooth to begin with. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll down the back window so we can know for sure if it smokes in the back and might as well hear how it sounds. Here we go. Final thoughts and opinions. It feels like the seafoam did its job. I don't think you could really voice your opinion because you haven't rode in this truck much. Yeah. Now this ain't no race car or a race truck, but you have to drive it like a race car to burn off all the excess seafoam or to burn the rest of it. And I think it's safe to say that we burned off all of it. What do you think? Yeah, I definitely at first it didn't smell that bad. I, I thought it was just fireworks and then there was this very quick few seconds that it smelled like what he said, rotten eggs. Oh boy, that smells like <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. It does smell a little, a little bad. <laughs> oh, so that's what rotten eggs smells like. Yeah. I, I thought you meant fireworks, but I was out. Like, I thought that was kind of bad. I, I don't know what that was. And I did not know what rotten egg smells like until that very moment. And it did not smell after that at all. So I think we should be good, I think. Well, the thing is with these fourth gen forerunners, and if you open the back window, it's common that they have the rotten egg smell. I don't know if the sea foam will make it go away, but I did notice that it's not there anymore. Yep, definitely not there. I didn't see any smoke. I saw a smoke while I was idling earlier. But I think when we took that drive, I'm pretty sure we got all of it out of the system, or most of it. That's what I think too. Alright. Well, it's safe to say that the seafoam treatment was a success. Again, thanks for the help, Kenny. We greatly appreciate it. I'll be forever grateful. Of course, of course. If you're subscribed, thanks. If you're not, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Take care, everyone. I'll catch you on the flip side.